Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. And I have some thoughts about territorial aggression, which is one of those um, uh, drives expressed through the reptilian mind. You know, I've talked about that in some of the blogs. And um, also about domination, submission, and like the order of alpha and beta males in packs, uh, wild packs, which which is deeply buried in the subconscious mind of human beings as well. And also I have some thoughts about um, a, a competition, business competition, national competition, and so forth with regard to war. So, so basically I think that male competition in its many aspects has to do with um, the feral instinct to, to order the um, dominate, dominance uh, in, among male members of a pack, such as a wolf pack or maybe a, a, a primate pack, an ape pack. Um, so competition establishes the pecking order for men. Who is at the very top? Who is an alpha male? Who is a beta male? And who is beneath that beta male as like a sub beta male and so forth. Um, so this drive, this this like feral drive, expresses itself uh, in our societies on Earth st still. It's toned down a little, so people usually don't kill each other. Men in particular don't kill each other, and so business competition, that model of 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 economy, is based on that drive. So, uh, but in, in new life on New Earth, I feel that the competition will be more like the challenge of who can do something better, a particular thing better, who can do it the best for the world, and not so much men fighting other men and achieving like control over them or damaging them in some way or putting them out of business or um, doing a hostile takeover of their corporation and so forth. I feel all those things will slowly go by the wayside as we achieve unity and harmony on Earth. Uh, then now there's that. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about the experience of male bonding during wartime. Uh, I know that Many men who have been to war look back uh, as veterans. They look back on that, those times as being cherished memories of male bonding, where competition was no longer um, a factor, where men uh, stood together uh, with one purpose and um, were comrades together. And I think that that is the main uh, good feature, one of the main good features of war, um, is that it allows men to form fast friendships one with the other. Uh, of course, there's a great cost there because the friendships that men form as a troop or as a platoon or as a unit uh, are in the interests of male competition against another group of people uh, from, say, another nation or with another ph philosophy or like that. So, so men band together a, with a pact to be friends and comrades in a common cause, and that common cause is the greater concept of male competition um, between groups. Again, I feel that on New Earth, the war will slowly become a thing of the past. And so um, it, that opens a whole new avenue for men to consider how they will relate with each other if they don't relate in terms of dominance, submission, or in terms of male competition. How will it be for men in new life on New Earth? How will they perceive each other? How will they relate to each other? It's going to be a completely different ball game. And I feel it's up to them to figure out how they're going to step forward and into that thing. Yeah. Uh, so, so that should be very interesting. 
Of course, there's also the issue of female um, female domination, submission, but I, I'm going to say that for another day because it results in less like uh, turbulence in the neosphere right now. It's 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 a subordinate goal I feel, but but a very interesting one. It went for us uh, women to consider: how will we get along in true sisterhood instead of through a pecking order or trying to like take uh, take uh, spouses from each other and these amazing soap opera things that occasionally go on in the world today. So there's that. I wish you all a very happy solar wind experience, and I'll speak with you all another time.